The escape from Alcatraz Triathlon is a tough swim, no doubt about it. It's going to take about six to seven minutes to get all 2,000 athletes off the boat and into the water, so be ready to jump. Also, keep in mind that the water will be around 55 degrees and there will be marine life. If you want to get a feel for the swim before the race, I would encourage you to participate in one of the pre-event swims offered by Waterworld Swim. When you jump off the boat, immediately get away from the boat. We have a lot of other athletes behind you jumping into the water and we don't want anyone getting jumped on. I've seen it happen before and not because they didn't get away quick enough, but because they hung out in the jump zone and didn't immediately swim away. To help, when you jump in feet first, have your arms out and when you hit the water, bring your arms down. This will help you from going too deep into the water. Once you have started to swim, you want to swim across the river. You have 5 million gallons of water exiting the bay on race day with a current that will take you west. As you see on the diagram, you will want to be swimming salt. There will be plenty of experienced support vessels in the water for your safety. The kayaks will be your primary level of support. If you need help, just let one of the kayakers know. And don't worry about being repositioned if you're struggling, you will not be disqualified. At the same time, if any one of our aquatic team members instructs you to do something like swim in a different direction, you must follow that instruction. The aquatic team has extensive experience with the bay and are here for your safety and the safety of your fellow athletes. The race starts at 7.30 a.m. and you will have one hour to complete the swim. At 8.30 a.m. our aquatic team will round up all swimmers still in the water and reposition them just 200 yards offshore. You will then finish the swim from this point. And remember, even if you receive some assistance on the swim, it does not disqualify you. Once you complete your swim, you land here at the St. Francis Yacht Club. Here you will run up the steps into the mini transition area. The bag that you turned in on Saturday with the small towel, shoes, and water bottle will be lined up by your bib number. Find your bag, wipe off, rinse the salt water out of your mouth, and then put your stuff back in the bag. This bag, along with the bag you left at Pier 3, will be available to pick up at the bag check area on the east side of Marina Green. This is the same location you dropped off the bag on Saturday. Relay swimmers, remember, you are responsible for that half mile run to Marina Green where your team members will be waiting to receive your timing chip. A couple of tips. You can take off your wetsuit and put it in the bag here in the mini transition area. However, Many athletes lately have been keeping the wetsuit on during the warm-up run onto Marina Green. If you wear swim socks or booties during the swim, the smooth asphalt between swim exit and Marina Green does allow you to run the half mile in the booties. For more information and much more, be sure to visit our website, escapefromalcatraztriathlon.com.